Hello Year 7, Miss Clayton here coming to you from my back garden. Before you all ask, this is Patrick, he's going to be my assistant for today. So I'm going to be showing you how we're going to do this week's practical, which is going to be involving calculating speed. Now this can either be the speed that you move or the speed at something in your house moves. A few things to think about. Make sure when you're planning your experiment, you consider the amount of space that you have. I've come out into my back garden, so I'm able to measure my speed because I've got a nice space to move. If you don't have a space like this, maybe consider using a toy car and measuring the speed of that inside your house. But always remember to think about the precautions that you need to take in order to carry out your practicals safely. So you're gonna need a few things to do this practical. You're gonna need something to measure distance. I've got a tape measure, but use whatever you have in the house. This only goes up to three meters. You're gonna need something to measure out your start and finish points. So I've stolen two of Patrick's sticks. You're then gonna need something to measure time. I'm gonna use the stopwatch on my phone. Start by taking your tape measure and measuring your distance. I've done three meters, and this will be the same for each of my repeats. Take your markers and mark out your start line and your finish line. Then be sure to take in your tape measure so that it's not a hazard. Now take your stopwatch and you're ready to start recording some results. So I'm going to start by walking from my start line to my finish line and I'm going to repeat this three times and take an average. This will increase the accuracy of my results. You'll find the instructions for this experiment in your Google Classroom with a method as well. You'll also find your results table here. So I'm going to record mine. So my distance was three meters. I repeated the test three times. First time took me 4.57 seconds. The second time took me 4.02 seconds. And the third time took me 4.66 seconds. I need to calculate the mean here. And to do this, I add my three repeats together and divide them by three because that's how many times I repeated. This gives me an average time of 4.42 seconds. I'll use the average to calculate my speed using this equation here. Speed equals distance divided by time. So I'll do three divided by 4.42 which gives me a speed of 0 0.68 meters per second. You can then repeat this experiment with different types of movement, for example, hopping, skipping, or jogging. Just be sure whatever you do, this is always done under the guidance of a sensible adult and that you clean up after yourself when you're done.